Hi, I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Today I'm going to show you how to log into the database as the SysDBA and we're going to see which schemas already exist on your database. And then I'll show you how to install a pretty well-known schema called Scott, which contains a few tables that uh, is often used for testing purposes. Once we have that Scott schema installed, then I'll show you how to do a few basic queries. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I want you to open up your DOS prompt. You can do this by going to your Start menu and then hit Run and type in CMD. When you install your database, there's a directory where all of your Oracle software resides. For me, since I'm on Oracle 10G Express Edition, it actually went directly under my D drive called Oracle XE. So here's my D drive and I'm just going to CD to that right now. And then I'll type in DIR Hey, look what we have. We have an app directory, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that. And then we have our Oracle directory. And then I can CD to my product directory. I'm just using wildcards here, so I don't have to type in the whole thing. And then I can go to my 10.20 directory. We're almost there. Then to my server. And you'll see that there's a directory called RDBMS, and under there, there's also a directory called admin. Now, if you're on any other version besides Express Edition, the structure is going to look a little bit different, but you can uh, quickly find the uh, base directory by just reading your Oracle documentation. Okay, so I'm now going to CD to my RDBMS directory, and then finally, here we are. I'm going to just type in DIR so we see what we have here. Look at all these different files here. We have .sql scripts and we also have some scripts that end in .plb. Those are already uh, compiled. So what we're really focusing on is a script called scott.sql. So if I type in DIR scott star, you'll see that there is this script right here. If you're curious to see what it looks like, you can just say type and then scott.sql and it's going to show you the contents of that file and you'll see that it's just a bunch of create tables and insert and so on. It's not a complex script at all. So how do we execute this script? Well, you first of all need to log on as this is DBA. So we need to launch SQL plus, so I'll say SQL plus slash as sysdba. So what's up with this slash? It's kind of strange. We're not providing a username or a password. The reason why we can get in without a username or password is because my current operating system user belongs to the Oracle DBA group. Now, if you were on a remote system, of course, you would have to provide a username and a password. Okay, so now that we say SQL plus slash as sysdba, I'm now in. Okay, so the reason why I navigated all the way to that special directory is because now I'm currently in that directory that contains the script. So all I need to do is say at sign Scott. I don't even have to tack on the dot SQL. It knows to do that. So go ahead and do that. Wait a few seconds and we should have our data installed. Now one thing that I didn't mention to you is that if you already have the Scott schema installed, then running this script is going to clobber that schema and recreate it from scratch. How do you know if you have that schema? Well, you can dig into the data dictionary. I'm still logged on as the sysdba. Let's just verify. Ooh, actually, this logged us in as Scott, so we need to log back in as sysdba. Let's go ahead and log back in as the sysdba. If you're already at your SQL plus prompt, you can just use the connect command and just uh, you can just say C-O-N-N -N for short and you can say connect slash as sysdba. So now let's say show user and there we go. When you're logged in as the sysdba, you have access to a database view called dba underscore users. If you do a describe on that, these are the different fields. And really what I'm interested in is the username, just to make sure that Scott's in there. So I'm going to say select username from DBA users. The numbers there are just the line numbers of my query. So from DBA users, and let's do an order by 
username, or we could just say order by one. Uh, just a quick glimpse at what we have. And notice that I did terminate my statement with a semicolon. That's a SQL plus thing. Okay, so here we have, where it is, uh, here we go, Scott. So if we want to see which tables Scott owns, there's another view that we have access to, and that's dba underscore tables. So if I do describe on that, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. What we're interested in is the owner and the table name. So my query is going to look like this. Select table name from DBA tables where owner equals, and let's make sure that Scott is in all capital letters because all of these words by default are saved in the uh, data dictionary as uppercase. And so it looks like Scott has these four tables here. So now I can log in as Scott, By the way, the default password for Scott is Tiger. The Scott Tiger schema has been around since the very beginning of Oracle. So logged in as Scott, I can do a describe on my emp table, see the structure, and here are the different columns for that table. And let's just do a select ename from emp. And there's our results. So now you understand how to create that Scott schema and log in as Scott and execute those queries. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I'm Julie Johnson with Firebox Training. Please visit us at www.fireboxtraining.com.